Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a DT, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, uh, looks like the Three of Swords is already jumped out, um, ready to go. So, let's talk about the point of no return, shall we? The point of no return. I don't think I can go on living like this. Hmm. Temperance. Something has been out of balance way too long. Five of Wands. You've been fighting so long. People think I fight because I like to save the day. Really? I just like fight. Eight of Pentacles. Seven Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So, looks like looks like I need to get my ducks in a row. Get my card straight. Okay. You're really rolling with the punches. You're really rolling with the punches with the hand that you've been dealt. And uh, really working hard to keep the balls in the air. Um, I can understand with all of this business that's happening here. How it's like, I, I, I am really getting full of all of this weird activity. And I want to have some not weird times so that I can find out if I'm really good at this. But at any rate, I'm at my wit's end with this circus. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Star. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna start kicking stuff over. That's what I'm going to do. You know what? I got all these balls in the air. Screw it. Let me drop a couple. Let me drop about two or three. See how that works out. See if I can get some calm and some quiet going on in my immediate vicinity. Because if I don't know nothing else, I know that chaos is going to find somewhere to be. No matter what I do. Just want to breathe, stack my chips, and be done with this. Foolishness so that I can hang out and do hood rat shit with my friends and also remember what my thoughts sound like because there's some gems in there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. On fire. All right, moving on.
Nine of Cups, Chariot, Five of Swords. Yeah. Wanting to be in a position where you can be free to love. Because history has taught you that it is not safe to do so with the Five of Swords. So you've got the Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. You just want to be soaking it up in a hot tub with your soulmate. I, you know, I get it, Uncle Rico. I get it. You wanted to take state. I, you know, wanting to move away from this um, competitive for no reason, backbiting type of energy. I could understand that because, well, it's not the 80s and greed isn't good. Yeah, it's not good. Um, you're looking for stability and being confident in what it is that you're doing because recent history has shown that you have not been comfortable in what you were doing or how things were going. It was kind of like, okay, um, there was a time when I was flying by the seat of my pants but now it's been too much time and my pants are really comfortable, have gotten too comfortable not having something underneath it. And my, I, I know in my heart or you know in your heart that that's not sustainable. You are desiring some place to, to chill out and be. Six of Pentacles, absolutely. You want to be able to sit down, high priestess, two of cups, and not only sit down, but sit down with somebody that gets you all this time, all this time. Hold on. There we go. And you want to sit down with somebody that gets you, you know, with the two of cups, someone you don't have to put airs on for. You want to be happy. Mary J. Blige. All I really want is to be happy. Yeah, I get it. The Ten of Cups. And Four of Pentacles. It would be so sweet. Like you want to be able to have that feeling and hang on to it for a minute. Because Lord knows you've been in that other energy for a long, long time. Nine of Wands. And you are you don't want to be permanently changed by all of this trauma that you have endured. You're not trying to do all that. You, you... Now the lessons are one thing, right? And I think that Let me rephrase that. What I'm feeling is that there's not a complaint about the lessons that were learned with this Nine of Wands. It's the hesitation on having the Nine of Wands be a permanent state of being and eight of cups you're wanting to move away from that six of swords to something death very different very different when we're in training and we're in the training environment, there comes a time when uh, the trainee becomes comfortable and or restless, right? And that's when the trainer notes that it's time for the trainee to come out of the training environment 
and into a live one with this death card. And then we've got the seven of swords here because shit's about to get really real. Yes, you want this peace and this quiet. It is not going to come without a completely new level of foolishness. Chatter, um, strategizing. You may have to strategize to get through, to come out of this Nine of Wands with this Eight of Cups. You may have to strategize on how to move into your calmer waters and leave this old you behind. Nine of Cups, but in your heart of hearts, you know it's freaking worth it. You're going to make those moves and slide right the flip up out of there. And be real proud of yourself when you do. Doggone right. And then you've got the page of swords right behind it. So this will, this will definitely be for, this will be new. Of all the phases that you have gone through in your life, this next one, this next, this, this, this shit right here. Tonight, you're going to see something that you've never seen before. Ace of Cups, come with it. And you will be so glad that you went through the heartbreak and the heartache and that you pulled yourself through all that shit to heal my God to heal because that 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 last heartbreak that last heartbreak, I don't think you were expecting it. Three of Wands, and it was that that was the last that was the last trial. That was the last trial before this new thing comes in. Because you learn something about a part of you that you felt that you were comfortable in. So we've got this three of wands letting you know that that, that last, that last heartbreak while it was a hum hum dinger dinger, it was a mess. Um, and it could have it, it could have broken a lot of people. But instead, it lit a fire in you with the Three of Wands, followed up by the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there is a huge blessing on the flip side of that huge pain, right? Here come the Knight of Wands. In here looking all cute with his curled hair and whatnot, flinging tresses. Yeah. Yeah, he is he is ready to come in, be flashy, and usher in this usher in this this life of comfort for you. Comfort, I say. So remember, when you are in this time of comfort, look how he just chilling. When you are in this time of comfort, uh, remember to stay close, stay connected, stay in constant communication with spirit because spirit led you through all this. Spirit orchestrated this wheel of fortune, right? Spirit told the Knight of Wands, all right, buddy, you can go. 
got, you know, spirit came in and washed this cup out for you, shined it up in a way that only spirit can so that you are able to tap into your emotions and feel everything that you need to feel without making excuses or having to dilute it or having to mask it like you had to do before you know and then we've got the three of pentacles rounding this out there's growth happening here it's not just growth in what you have endured as an individual but also some growth that is going to reflect itself in what it is that you have to offer you're going to not just internally feel abundant but you will be abundant externally you feel me like Oh. be thankful count it joy and celebrate and celebrate uh, because the knight of wands is here with all of his streamers and stuff and um, you know it's about to be a hell of a party hell of a party all right thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today and until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.